Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting system of equations. I, I call this system interesting because we have three variables, but only two equations. We have 2x plus 3y plus z is equal to 3, and x minus 7y plus 9z is equal to 27. And we're supposed to find x plus y plus z. So we have two equations only, and this is not a Diophantine system because we're not looking for integer solutions, we're looking for real solutions, but we're not looking for the individual solutions for x, y, z, rather we are looking for the sum. So the question is, can we always solve these kinds of systems? That's one of the questions that I wanted to pose. Let us know in the comment section. Second, in how many ways can we solve this problem? Okay, two things, uh, two things to think about, and I'll start with the first method, and let's see how many methods we can come up with. So for my first method, I'm going to think about what is called a linear combination of these two equations. So what's a linear combination? A linear combination is basically we take these two equations, multiply them by something, and then add them together. And the equation produced that way, whatever the solutions are to that equation, should satisfy the original system because it's obtained from the given system. Make sense? So it should be consistent, hopefully. So here's what I'd like to do then. Take the first equation, multiply by a, and take the second equation and multiply by b. And I'm hoping to get x plus y plus z from here. But let's see how we can get there. First of all, I'm going to distribute. I'll be getting 2ax plus 3ay plus az plus bx minus 7by plus 9bz. Now, how can you turn this into something like x plus y plus z? First of all, let's combine like terms. 2ax and bx like each other. So 2a plus b is going to be the coefficient of x. Now we have 3ay and minus 7by. So it's going to be 3a minus 7b. That's the coefficient of y. And finally, az and 9bz, a plus 9b is going to be the coefficient of z. So we would like to get something like x plus y plus z from here. Something like x plus y plus z means we want all the coefficients to be equal. Because even if I can't get x plus y plus z, I can get a multiple of that. Make sense? A k multiple. So in other words, all these have to equal to the same number whatever that case. And there's more than one. Is there? Let's find out. So here's what I'm going to do then. Since these two coefficients or three are equal, I'm going to set the first two equal to each other. And from here, you get a equals 8b. Awesome. So that kind of gives us a relationship between the two. But what about the third one? Is that going to work on that one? Let's go ahead and find out. Replace a with 8b in the second and third which are all equal to k, 3a is going to be 24b minus 7b. This is going to give me 17b. And here I'm getting 8b plus 9b, which is also 17b. Yay, these are equal. So good news. <laughs> this works. Obviously, in order for our system to be consistent or in order for us to be able to find x plus y plus z from here. Wait a minute. Did I answer the question that I posed? Anyways, never mind. You'll think about it. So let's go ahead and use this information. How do I use this information a equals 8b? Th that didn't give me particular values. But guess what? This is even better because this gives you infinitely many solutions. So why don't we take b equals 1 and a equals 8? Obviously, b equals 1 implies a equals 8. So let's go ahead and multiply our equations. So remember, our system was 2x plus 3y plus z equals 3, and x minus 7y plus 9z equals 27. Now, we, we, we're saying that a is equal to 8, so we're going to multiply the top equation by 8, and then the bottom one is going to be multiplied by 1 or just leave it alone, right? Let's go ahead and do this. Distribute the 8. You're going to get 16x plus 24y plus 8z equals 24. And the second equation is just going to stay as is, x minus 7y plus 9z equals 27. 
And guess what? This is going to be awesome. Because when we add these two equations, you're going to get something nice. Look at this. 17x plus 17y plus 17z equals 51, which is 3 times 17. Did you get that? Awesome. Now we can go ahead and factor out 17 or just divide both sides by 70. Can we do that real quick? And that should give us x plus y plus z equals 51 divided by 17, which is equal to 3. And what was I looking for? x plus y plus z? Yes, exactly. And I found it. Now, did I find the particular values for x, y, z? No, I didn't solve for x, y, z. I solved for x plus y plus z, which I was able to obtain from the given equation. Again, I'm going to repeat my question. Are all systems going to be like that? So if I give you randomly any, any system, can you always achieve that? Something to think about. But let's go ahead and proceed with the second solution because there's other things that I want you to look at. So second method, obviously, is going to be simpler than the first one, right? That's why it's the second method. And here's what I like to do. Since the value of, by the way, I want to go back here and just take a look at these two values. I picked b equals 1 and a equals 8. What would happen if I pick b equals 2 and a equals 16? Would that work? Absolutely. That should work. I mean, anything that satisfies a equals 8b should work for my system, right? Probably. And you can test it out. If you want, use these values and see if you can get x plus y plus z from here. Remember, we're not solving for a and b. We're solving for x plus y plus z. So here's the second method after that brief um, remark. I want to make it a little easier. Since the value of x plus y plus z can be found from the two equations, and there are three variables, and we have two equations. So that gives us a degree of freedom. That gives us some freedom. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a value for x, y, or z. It doesn't matter, right? How about we pick y equals 0? Why? Because y has a negative sign, so I don't like that. What if y is equal to 0? We get 2x plus z equals 3, and x plus 9z equals 27. From here, I'm hoping to find the values of x and z, and then add them all up, because my goal is to find x plus y plus z, right? Okay, let's see if we can do that. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe multiplying the second equation by negative 2, because that will eliminate and we're going to be using smaller numbers. That will eliminate the x. So let's go ahead and distribute negative 2, negative 18z equals negative 24, negative 54. Now, the numbers that come out of here may not be nice, but that's OK. Negative 17z is equal to what? Negative 51? Seriously, z is equal to 3. Wow, that's amazing. You know what? I just randomly did this because First, I thought about setting z equal to 0, but then I changed my mind. And z equals 0 actually didn't give us something nice, but y equals 0 does give us something nice. You know why? Because if z is equal to 3, think about it, x is going to be 0. That's why we kind of got a nice answer from here. And as you know, initially we had replaced y with 0. So these are the values. Again, there are infinitely many triplets, but this is one of them. And since I'm looking for x plus y plus z, then I can get 3 from here easily, right? Cool, cool. Now, what about a third method? And please let me know if you have any other things. Well, since I have these two equations, can I just eliminate one of the variables without assuming any values? Absolutely. You could probably do this, like, since y is, seems a little easier. Well, x is easier too. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh, should we go with x? Okay, let's go with x, negative 2. And this is going to give us negative 2x plus 14y minus 18z equals negative 54. And the top equation is going to stay the same. 2x plus 3y plus z is equal to 3. When we add these up, we should be getting 17y minus 17z is equal to negative 51. And from here, you're going to get y minus z equals negative 3, which is kind of interesting, right? So we kind of got a nice relationship. y is equal to z minus 3 x, I don't know what it is, and we have the uh, equation. So what can I do with this? Well, first of all, I have something y, y for y in terms of z. What would happen if I try to isolate x from one of these equations? Probably the second one. 
I can kind of isolate it and write it as 7y minus 9z plus 27. And since y is equal to z minus 3, let's go ahead and replace y with z minus 3 here, and we're going to get x equals 7z minus 21 minus 9z plus 27. And this is going to give us x equals negative 2z plus 6. So here's the thing. I got x in terms of z, I got y in terms of z, and I'm supposed to find x plus y plus z. So x is going to be negative 2z plus 6. This is x. y is z minus 3, and z is just z. If I add these up, again, I'm getting 3. But is this just luck, or is this method always going to work? Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.